Today we're going to talk about switching out the original spring and the overpressure valve for a nine bar spring and that in this little inexpensive Gage Espresso Deluxe coffee machine. Now why do we want to do that? Well we want to decrease the pressure that comes stuck in this machine. I think for manufacturers they're always kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. How much pressure should they really allow to get to the brew group? when they are trying to target people who are going to use this with a normal pressurized system or those who want to use a non-pressurized basket. So they generally default to going to something that's a little bit too high of a pressure if you want to use a standard basket. What we're going to try to do today is just switch out the one that's in there for this. And I have good news for you guys. This is the same one that fits in the Gaja Classic Pro. So we're gonna take a look at how to do that today. By the way, I'm also going to include a link in the video description, just check it out below so that you can buy one of these yourself if you want to. There's not really much that you need, you just need a Torx bit like this one here that is a T10 bit, and you need a 10 millimeter wrench. So let's just open this up. As a short disclaimer, you're responsible for yourselves for your machine and for your own health. But of course, make sure it's unplugged, make sure it hasn't been used for a while so that there's no heat in here, no pressure on the system. And let's get going. There's just four screws that you have to remove. It's actually very quick. And that's something I do appreciate about Gaja is that they designed the machines to be open really easy. Look at that, all ready. Got to remove that too. All ready. Ready to undress. Here we go. Okay. And we already have access to the inside of the machine. That is nice. So what we're going to do is just remove this hose here. This is the hose coming off the overpressure valve. And I'm sure that a lot of you are going to recognize this overpressure valve. Looks to be the same one that they got on the Gusha Classic Pro. So we'll just remove that hose right there that makes things easier and all you have to do is go counterclockwise on this brass nut to remove it. I would also suggest stuffing something in here by the uh, control board just to make sure that no water gets onto there because there may be some residual water as you open this overpressure valve. And you also may be able to see some red stuff on there. They have some kind of sealing material in there. Okay, now I can turn it. Oh, see that? Water just came out. And you also have to be careful because there is a small part that has to remain inside. So make sure that doesn't pop out. And if so, put it back in. So this is the spring that the machine comes with. And it's quite stiff. If I look at the nine bar spring, it's definitely less stiff. That The one here, the stock, is quite a bit harder to press down than is this one. So that one's going over there and we're gonna put this guy in. Let's see if I can get that guy out of there. Okay, there it is. Okay, so this is what the little guy looks like in this particular OPV. I believe it's just a little plastic knob that's inside the Gaja Classic Pro, but this is just a, a little brass piece with what looks like a green rubberized part on the end, and that is what seals here. So make sure, if that flies out, make sure that goes back in, that's important. So let's put in the new spring, and what I'm hoping that now it's going to be easier to make some non-pressurized extractions. By the way, be careful, don't crank on this too hard. I have heard of people actually breaking their overpressure valve. It's just plastic, so don't crank on it too hard. You want it to be nice and snug, of course. Okay, that's the end stop right there. Then we're just gonna route it back into the tank and put it together. Excellent. 
All right, so now I'm curious to use the machine and see how it works with a nine bar spring in there. I'm hoping that it gets easier to extract with this because what I have been getting is not only does the extraction run faster when you got too much pressure um, coming down onto the espresso puck, it's also been the case that I've been getting leaks here in between the top rim of the basket and the gasket here inside. It just seems to be too much pressure. So I'm hoping that a reduction in pressure down to nine bar is gonna get me, first of all, a better shot and also a more ergonomic shot where I'm not dealing with water coming out here on the side of the porta filter. I hope that this video was helpful for you. And if so, give it a like. If you thought it sucked, give it a thumbs down, whatever the case. Thanks for being with me. I say happy espresso drinking, arrivederci, fiets euch, and bye now.